Well, Janelle, Mike, on the same night that this legislation was proposed, it was stopped from going any further. And those two members that you mentioned who were pushing for this to eventually pass, they say it wasn't even given a chance to allow health experts and the public to weigh in. A proposal to change the look of crowds like these if passed, it would require masks to be worn in Allegheny County and at outdoor gatherings with more than 250 people. Working with public health experts in this field and listening to what they advise, this is part of the mitigation efforts that need to happen in order to curb uh, the spread of this virus. Olivia Bennett and Bethany Hallam both pushing for this legislation, but it didn't make it past tonight. Personally, from what I've seen, what I saw coming into uh, the emails and telephone calls to, into county council, they were predominantly opposed to this overwhelmingly. Council President Patrick Katina says typically newly introduced legislation will go to committee, but tonight council waiving the process and voting it down. I understand what uh, what Councilwoman Hallam and Councilwoman Bennett are trying to do, save lives. Um, but I'm, I'm not sure if, if the mask mandate, if that actually does that or that causes additional fatigue among people and causes additional resentment. Some asking, is it legal? I don't think I have the ability tonight to tell you whether it's legal or illegal. I think I can tell you that there are some questions that could have some ab ability to be able to enforce and enact what you're trying to do or what the bill says you want to do. Hallam joining the meeting virtually said the bill should get a real chance. I think the only proper way to proceed forward with this is to have a committee meeting and to multiple committee meetings. I don't think it's fair to not have public input on this issue before we vote it up or down. And since this legislation was drafted, photos of Councilperson Hallam have circulated on social media showing her at large outdoor events not wearing a mask. So commenters chiming in saying that it's hypocritical. When I asked her her response to this, she said going forward, she will work to be a better role model for the people she is elected to serve. Reporting live tonight, Kaylee Gunderson, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.